Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Nelson, you're watching Nature Nell. If you're new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. Today is gonna be a fun day because we're gonna create stuff together. And I've been waiting to do this video for a while, which is how to mount orchids on wood. Which to tell you guys the truth, I started not too long ago doing this. I would say about a good six, seven months ago. And it's been amazing. My greenhouse has now improved, I would say about a 75%, believe it or not. I had sick orchids that I took out from the pots and put them on, on some of these mounts. And they, not only did they root in a very short period, they uh, bloom for me. I'm looking because now in the summer, as you can see, I am sweating. And I said the summer here in Miami, it's like this all the time. Doesn't matter how fresh I start, you know, I'm always gonna look like I jumped in a pool. But anyways, I digress. I have all the things I need here. Remember, I'm a practical guy, so I like to do things very simple. So I always have pre-soaked sphagnum moss. Okay, you just grab uh, some sphag moss and, and add water to it, leave it there for a while. So that way it's nice and soaked. And the reason I, I pre-soak uh, moss is because sometimes like bubba films, you don't want to put them bare root on a, on a mount because they will die. They need a, a, a lot of moisture. And I know some of you viewers, Nudie, you had asked me on uh, reference to, you ordered some, some mounts from the orchid supply store and, and you had left me a message saying, do I use moss? And, and the answer is yes and no. <laughs> if it's, um, a dendrobium which I will be right back because nudies I know you're watching and I want you to see your gift this is a dendrobium that my viewer nudie gave to me and she's also a collector also has a YouTube channel and Instagram and has amazing stuff and she gave me as a gift uh, den uh, some cuttings of her dendrobium uh, from the last not the last show but one of the sh uh, shows at Ophi's and um, I put it on a piece of wood I had it like on this little cup and I decided to just put it bare root and I'll show you how well it's doing. And I, she gave me this dendrobium about, I would say four months ago, maybe. Wanna come up on the table? <laughs> Here it is. She's gorgeous. And I, I, this is one of the first pieces of, of wood mounts that I got from uh, the orchid store when we were first testing them out. And I mean, it's gorgeous. And look at how the roots have already grabbed on very well. So this is what we're gonna try to achieve once we mount it. You want to achieve that it that the roots grab on after a couple of weeks. You should start seeing some type of of, of anchoring, or you'll notice that the plant's gonna start looking healthier and more vivacious. But she had given me it was two, I think it was like two little pieces, and She's gotten very big. I'm trying not to get the shadow because my greenhouse has paneling for the shadows. So I'll put this here away from danger. So let's get started because I don't want to make this tutorial like all chatty and, and less work. It's really easy, guys. I'm going to show you how simple this is. I always wear gloves no matter what. I don't know why. I guess it's just because I'm, I'm in the world of hairstyling, I did, I did go to the Paul Mitchell Academy. And I gotta tell you, it's one tough school. <laughs> it's not for the weak-minded. <laughs> they are very, very big on sanitation, which I love. And so, you know, they're all, always wear gloves for, for a lot of things. So anyway, so I did bring my eyes because when I do this kind of stuff, I need to see. <laughs> All right, so this is how easy it is. We're gonna start with the easiest one first. This is a bubble film that I got at Carl Smith. I just covered it on my last video. It's a Capilepes, I think. That's how you say Capilepes. And as you can see, it has green moss in it. So that tells me that it likes moisture because in order to have green moss like that, you need to have um, moisture uh, all the time. So I was looking at some of these that Ken over at the Orchid Supply Store sent me. One is a little bigger than the other. And I kind of like this for this, see? What do you guys think? I know it's tiny, but, cause the other option was the bigger one. Where is it? But I was like, eh. 
Mm, too big. And then this one was the one I grabbed yesterday. I think it was this one, yeah, that I put down here. And I really kind of like the simplicity of this, you know, like the long piece here and then this here. So I'm thinking maybe this one. I think I'm going to do this one. I'm tossed between two lovers. <laughs> tossed between two lovers. Feeling like a fool. <laughs> I don't know. I wish you guys could yell at me right now and tell me the right, the left. Well, which right and which left? All right, so I got to make a decision here. Um, let me see. That's it. Made it. Who picked this one? All right, so I kind of like this side better because it's a little more organic. And I've told you guys I like when things look organic. Plus, it kind of frames a piece right here and gives us more of an organic feel so this is how easy it is guys normally i do um wet my um my orchids before doing this i would suggest you wet them but as you can see they're already wet from this morning so it would be overkill now in something like this these are very delicate i would literally just put it at a slight angle like that see so in this case I'm not even going to take out the moss two reasons number one I know where it came from Carl Smith their their medium is very clean so I and it, it doesn't even look like it's aged I could probably take the bottom I just don't want to let me see I'll take the bottom off just to refresh the moss it never hurts I just don't want to disturb the moss on top that's why but I have in case you guys um, want to try it this way like Philanopsis I basically just take the bottom part of the moss off leave about half of it on I try not to disturb the root so much add a little bit underneath of fresh fresh moss and then just let me see I don't know if this is going to be, yeah. I think this is gonna be the best thing because it's growing this way. So it's gonna give me more babies in that direction. All right, so I'm gonna speed this up because this part gets boring to watch. So go. All right, I'm slowing it down now just to show you guys because I mean, it's very simple. There's can pre drills the holes on these woods. So, I mean, it's really, really easy, guys. You basically grab the back and you twist. That is it. There's nothing more to it. And it holds it like that. That's it. You're done. So what I like to do just to secure it a little bit more. This one's a tiny one. Um, I may run it again on this one i don't think i am what i'm going to do is i'm going to put um spanish moss around it just to keep even more moisture uh but it's pretty much it that's there's not much to it that's why i like the small ones because the small ones are easy to mount they don't weigh so they're not going to weigh themselves down now i cut these these are the actual pieces of of hanger from like the vandas um sorry guys the sun is so 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 bright and this, the glasses make it worse okay so these are the wires that we use for hangers for like um bandas and baskets and things like that so when i have some retired ones or old ones i just cut them with a with one of these and look it's like it's like nothing it's really really because this stuff isn't it's tough, but it's not, um, what do you call it? It's not, uh, it's, it's very pliable. It, it bends and it cuts easy. So this is what I've been doing. I put it through here, right? I bend it all the way this way. So I put it through the front. And then I twist the back. This is something I started doing not too long ago because I find that um, 
that it, it hides better the, the hook. Before I was doing this little ring thing and I was like, you know what? I don't need to go through all that trouble. All right. So whatever you have excess, here you go. So you see it becomes almost like a hook. So. See, I spoke too soon. Hold on, let me do the sitting down. These are my, my real, my good pliers. Lewis took and I don't think he returned because <laughs> I can't find him anywhere. And I highly doubt the cats are gonna take him. So that's it, that's pretty much it. All right, wood's falling. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's how easy I do it. You guys can be creative with the hooks. It really doesn't matter. This for me works well. Um, here, let me show you. Let me see if I can just grab the camera because I have it on the AI and sometimes it acts weird. All right, see, this is, uh, let me see if this is bright enough. Yep, okay. So see, I'm going to cut the other thing, but this, you just hold it like that. And look how easy. And it's a very lightweight thing. Oh, there you go. I'm gonna cut this now. Let me put the phone again. Sorry, I've never done it like this before. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, because it, it the AI wants to kind of go with the uh, I'm sorry that I'm So anyways, that's pretty much it guys. It doesn't really, and then you can just take, I'm going to borrow from this, <laughs> from this Vanda. It's just that this is, this Vanda's uh, Spanish mosses. So, so you see this, this is all Spanish moss. You can uh, get these from your local nursery. They actually do sell them. And I like to sometimes just kind of wrap them around. Now this is a really tiny one, so you don't want to like overdo it. <laughs> it's adorable. For me, this is therapy. I mean. It's easy, it's fun, therapeutic. I mean, you see these in the shows and they'll charge you easily for something like this, 40, 50 bucks, and probably even more depending on, on the orchid that's on there. I don't wanna to put too much of this. Um, but it's all in the presentation. You know, if you give it a nice presentation, something that you paid little for could now become really bad in here. This looks better. I took some of the sphagnum moss. But look how pretty. It just looks like a piece of nature growing off of the bark of a tree. All right, so shall we do another one? Shall we play a game? All right. I quote movies all the time. <laughs> That just reminded me of a whole movie when I was growing up. I think it was Matthew Broderick. Shall we play a game? Oh, very important. Put your tags always back. I hang them on the back, but this one, this one doesn't have a hole. So let me see, maybe I can make a little hole. Fast forward. All right. So I made a little hole on the tag right there. You can slip it right in. I don't want to pinch myself because I'm doing this without my glasses. <laughs> All right, I'm going to have to adjust it a little better because I didn't have, a, that'll work. It's not going to fall off. 
So there, once you have it tagged on the back, when you, when you uh, hook it, your, the name will always be on the back. How pretty. All right, guys, actually, you know what I did? I pre uh, fixed one already because they sent me this one that looks sort of like slices from like a sort of a trunk or maybe a big branch but i love it because it has such a beautiful shape but i'm thinking about doing it like this so that way when you're looking at it the plant is in the center because like this it'll look pretty but i think it'll look nicer as a sitting plate so i already put it on some wires and that's the actual mount right there okay so i've been doing these a lot lately because i don't know it, it's just a whole different way of, of presenting them now i'm gonna i'm gonna stop it for a second all right guys i try to change everything around because i think it would be best for these the best way to do it is always um hang them so that way they're on a they're already exactly where you um how they're gonna be presented and it's easier to do like this than to have to do it and then put the hooks on and then so try to do everything beforehand um because like i said usually these uh the moss and everything will hold it pretty well and then with the tie wraps and the little holes on the bottom that you can see here that's where you um where you get creative and you put the pieces now the orchid i decided to use here it's going to get repotted again and it's the Jiaho queen <laughs> i think this would be spectacular to see those flowers coming out of this but with this one it also has a moss so what does that tell me wow it's getting dark here guys i'm gonna have to brighten this place up <laughs> uh it means that it likes to be moist by the most most time but on cidiums, they don't like to stay wet too long so i guarantee you that uh, maybe i'm wrong let me see. Here we go. So it's on full sphagnum moss. That's all it is. So I guess this one in particular likes because somebody did tell me that these do like to be on the on the more moist side. So I think this would be the perfect home for her look at that so let me take out some of the moss and i'll speed it up for you and i'll see you on the other side all right so i got them undone now those were two i got one from smiley it was a gift from smiley she gave me one of those and then the other one was from brethren and i got that one at the um, Oh my God, what was this place called? <laughs> I go to so many shows. Crawl Smith. The Crawl Smith, uh, oh, I think it was uh, Spring or Easter, Easter, Easter Fair. So this one, since it does like moss and we are putting it on a mount, we do have to be very careful that it doesn't dry out. So we're gonna add, even though it's on a bed of mount, of a mount, we're gonna actually put, I kinda like this here like this. We're gonna put more moss around it so that way it's completely covered. But first, before we do that, we're gonna tie it. So fast forward again. <sighs> that one was a little more difficult only because um, there's two of them in there so they kind of like were kind of pushing each other away <laughs> i was like come on cooperate you guys are family because by the way if you do this with different types of orchids in one um at least for me it hasn't worked there's something about it they just don't like to be you know when they're different species i've done like different fowls together in a whole you know one environment and 
it didn't work. I had to dismantle it. So, but I, but I do bundle up um, same species or same hybrid and that seems to work perfect. So if you guys want to go ahead and like these little minis, the best thing to do is buy a couple of the same only because it'll give you more volume and a lot more blooms uh, during their blooming cycle because they only bloom once. Uh, well, most species are known to only bloom once a year. Uh, so you want to make it a big bang, you know, when it's when it blooms, you want it to really bloom. <laughs> so anyways, guys, look how cute this turned out. Now, I do have to clean it under here. You know, I just this is just showing you exactly what I came up with while we were conversating <laughs> oh all right and then of course it has this little hole in the bottom so i should have put a screen in there but i don't want to do that i just want it to be as natural as possible so that way the roots do start going under through that hole and out and it's going to create a really nice really nice effect i just tucked it all in there now, I could go ahead and put some Spanish moss, but I think it would be a little overkill on this one. Because, I mean, it, it, it just looks so organic. And now I always have, well, this one, this one's clean. I know this one's clean because see how burnt it is? <laughs> I'm always burning it to always heat your tools or, or dis, uh, disinfect them. I have a blue liquid that I use in the salon. It's called Barbicide. And I got to tell you, that stuff kills everything. So I'm thinking actually about bringing it and putting these kind of tools in there. Uh, but always when you use it, like now I wouldn't cut another orchid with this. I would burn it, you know, just to make sure that. So this is my Giaho. Now this is going to be pretty tough. So what I'm going to do, I have two tags because I got them on, from two different places. So I'm just going to throw it um slide it across on the bottom see and that way it'll be there safe and if i need to see the name i could just pull it out but i already know what this is so there we we've done two beautiful little mounts in no time and i wanted to do more i actually have two more but it's going to be too long a video and it's about to rain and it's super super gray out so anyways, guys, I hope you liked my um, my little tutorial. I hope I made it easy enough for you guys. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. All right. I think I'm going to have to close it up here because it is raining. I'm feeling drizzles and it's a storm. So, God, it's really gray out. <laughs> Anyways, gray and hot. So I hope you really liked what I did. I've been wanting to do this for you guys uh, for a while now, and I just haven't found the time. And Blanca and I, we have spoken about doing a, a mounting, a plant mounting party. But you know, summer is really hard for everybody. So I figured now that I have a little bit of time and I wanted to do these, uh, I've had these like in the back of my mind, um, I took advantage of it. So thank you for sticking by. I hope to see you in my next episode. I am Nelson. You're watching Nature Now. And remember to always, always go back to nature and keep it green. See you next time. Why are you still here? Go home. Go to another channel. Wait for the next episode. I promise I'll bring you back another episode. <laughs>